Okay, so uh, one feature in Illustrator is this feature known as Live Paint. And sometimes when we look at our uh, toolbar here and we see our paint bucket, uh, we often want it to work the same way as it does in Photoshop, but it doesn't in Illustrator, okay? Live Paint is done. We have to go through a couple of steps and then we can get to Live Paint. So let's begin. I come to File and I'm going to just place an image in here. Um, that I am going to work with. So let's take a look at the image that I would like. And the image that I am going to work with is, should be somewhere before me. Okay, so I am going to put this image of a juicy pear into Illustrator. And I hit place. Now, what I'm going to do to begin with here is I am going to hit Live Trace, okay? And what Live Trace does is it automatically turns this image into a vector drawing. And I can change this, right? I can come in and I can say, okay, I want to do color 16. And I'm going to click, and now I can see, I can zoom it on in, and I can see that it's created these paths, and that's really what it does, right? It creates paths um, and anchor points. Now, in order to start to use this um, live paint, what I need to do next is I need to convert what I've traced to live paint. So I click this. And now I have live paint. And here is where the paint bucket is going to begin to work. And to get our paint bucket, uh, we can see we have our live paint bucket right here. Now what we can do is we can come in and we can load our colors. But what we might want to do with our colors is we might want to come in here and just take a look, open up our swatches. And what we can find too is that we can come in and we can actually locate a lot of different uh, color libraries that are built in here. So maybe I want to change this um, to what? Let's see. Why don't we go just food? Let's go to food. And let's go to vegetables. Okay. So maybe what I want to do is come in and, you know, you can see too that. Once we load a color into our paint bucket, we can come in, I can click, and now I can drop that color. Okay, usually then coming in, clicking another color, I can click, I can drop that color. I can come in, I can click, drop that color. So that's pretty much how it works. Now, in order to get a smaller area, so say I just wanted to get this little area right here, what I would do would be I could come in and just zoom in a little bit in order to get that area. So that pretty much is how live paint works and how the paint bucket works in, um, in Illustrator. And what happens too is you'll find that it's something that once you get it all figured out, then you can just you know come in and drop paint in pretty easily. Another good feature of the live paint is what we could do is we could actually come in and let's say I said, okay, I want to save this eggplant for my shadow. So I could click it and now it's going to appear in my swatches. Okay, I could take my color, put it right here. Now it's loaded in my paint bucket. So I could come to this, I could click this and then watch as I, as I move my arrows back and forth, see how I can load a different color paint into my bucket. All right, so it's actually a very quick and easy way to communicate with your swatches and to load, you know, different colors in and to move through something rather quickly. I also loaded this in here. Uh, who knows, maybe I'd want to take this, put this right in here or that. Okay, now I like that one better. So it's a quick and easy way to move through, through things rather quickly. Now what this is too with live paint, we have to always remember that Illustrator is very different than Photoshop and that Illustrator um, you know, is, creating, is creating a whole section of paths. 
Uh, so, so every, whereas in Photoshop, we work with the paint bucket and we can just dump color in. Illustrator is not going to dump color into something unless it's reading it as a closed path. So again, the, the difference between Photoshop and Illustrator, they're fundamentally different and that Illustrator is vector, Photoshop is raster images. I'll leave it with that. Thanks for listening.